Hey everybody, welcome to Qatar Games Expo 6th edition of Qatar Games Academy. And this time we're going to be talking about girls in gaming and how to turn your hobby into a profession. Now obviously, I am quite pretty, but I'm not a girl, so I'm not going to be doing the talking. I will be moderating, but... I'm going to leave that up to our esteemed panelists, all right? Now, first up, I'm not going to do the whole intro. I'm going to let her do it. Not that she needs one, but let's welcome Elodia Gosyung Fiao from the Philippines. <laughs> good to be here. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to have you. Um, and something that's interesting is here in Qatar, where this thing is kind of based out of, there's 350,000 OFWs. Oh, so yeah, lot. yeah. In, in the Middle yeah. East, there are so many Filipinos. So I remember the yeah. first time I went to Dubai. It's like, mm -hmm. I thought I was in the Philippines because so, so many Filipinos, I felt so at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got so many messages about, is she coming here? It's like, well, I, I actually saw those comments <laughs> like, oh, I wish I would be there. Oh. Yeah, I've been yeah. there once. So, I've been there once. So hmm. hopefully next time. Yeah, that was one thing I wanted to, to give you kudos for is you came to the Middle East uh, Film and Comic Con. Mm -hmm. And everybody who came, which I understand, they were charging for autographs and pictures and stuff. And I was looking through the list. And there you were, like right in the middle. And it said, Elodia, free. Which I thought <laughs> was super cool. Aww. So it really shows that you care about your fans and you just want to meet them and, and that kind of thing. So Of course, yes. I mean, because like in conventions, I know there are lots of stuff they want to buy as well. They're like limited edition stuff. So being there and meeting people who appreciate your work, it's like, I'm already happy. It's super happy. <laughs> yeah, that was that was really cool. And I remember pointing that out to my wife saying, wow, she's really cool. Because she told me about you. She She's how I found out about you. And that was like five years ago. So mm -hmm. already to her and that you were a big deal. So like I said, yeah. when, when she found out this was happening, she was geeking out pretty good. But <laughs> we have a lot of other people who are, are geeking out. But before we get started with that, what I want to tell you guys is down below here, you'll see a thing that says ask a question. So if you have questions, go ahead and put it there. And then people can upvote the question if they really like it. Uh, we also have a few polls that you guys can answer. And it'll give us some insight into what you're doing with streaming and, and other things. And then something else that's really cool, I want to give big ups to Activision. Uh, at the end of the show, we are going to be doing uh, a giveaway for three uh, copies of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, there is a little uh, stipulation. You have to be in the Middle East, North Africa region or the Levant. Um, and it's for PS4. But still pretty rad so if you guys have a ps4 and you're in this region you want to play call of duty modern warfare then stay tuned for that question at the end when i ask the question you'll then go on to Qatar gaming expo's uh, instagram you give them the answer through direct message and then your number and your email and then they'll send you your code if you're one of the lucky winners which they'll choose randomly in that little app spinny thing <laughs> that i've used a few times Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut my mouth. Uh, what we have are a lot of questions for you, Elodia, but many of them are very similar. So we have people okay. asking, and then maybe you can tie this into your story of how you became this, this gaming goddess and nah. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just and, a potato uh, with potato aiming as well. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. I actually look like a potato. I look like Mr. Potato Head. So. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so people want to know, you know, how to get good at the gaming. They want to know how to get better at streaming, how to be more confident and how they can possibly turn streaming and gaming into a profession. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here into the little corner and then you are going to take over how it should be. Okay, so maybe we can start with streaming. So, yeah, I've been streaming for a while now. I think I started back in 2013. And um, I was, I'm super shy. I'm an introvert, so it's really hard for me to express myself. But 
it's little by little I gain confidence. It's usually me reacting to people like you guys here in the chat. So, <laughs> hi Ira. Oh, you're here too as well. So yeah, like that. And sometimes it's better if you play with a party with your friends, someone you can actually bounce off to, talk to, so that there's no dead air that much. And then, uh, of course, you have to sharpen your gaming skills as well because you're doing gaming streams and uh, people sometimes watch your streams to learn from you. So, yeah. I mean, it, but if you're not that good, you can entertain them as well. So, that's that's pretty good too. They're like pro gamers and entertainers. So, you don't have to uh, confine yourself in a box. So you ha you can adjust. You can be a cosplay streamer, um, someone like a senpai teacher, and yeah, like I even see. Oops, sorry, I saw my cat. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, you can actually also be someone who just like interacts with the audience. Like there are nine year old streamers, thirteen years old. They're super duper cute. I actually play with them as well. So it's super nice to see the new generation considering streaming. Like the parents are considering streaming for their kids. So, yep, I hope more people, more people will get into it. As for gaming, I'm a variety streamer. So I'm a jack of all trades, king of none. <laughs> so I actually just try out a lot of different games. Like if something new comes out, I hope I get to play it first as well. And yeah, but there are some favorites. Like right now, I really love Call of Duty Warzone. I play it every night. So I'm super happy that Activision will be giving away uh, codes on this stream. So yeah, do stay if you guys want to win a code. <laughs> All right, what else? So why don't you focus on, like a lot of streamers focus on a particular game. Why are you doing more of a variety? I think I would focus on a game if I'm super duper good at it. Like if I am a competitive gamer who actually joins and wins competitions. But me, I'm just like, I'm actually a casual gamer. I, sometimes I aim well, sometimes I don't, but I try my best. And I also enjoy like discovering different genres, different, different games that come out. So like I look forward to that and I want to share that to my audience and how did you go from i love playing games to a streamer to what you are now i started playing games when i was like probably one two or three years old i don't know as soon as i had like conscience and then i just really play games and then some someone told me about streaming and stuff like that back in 2013 2012 something like that that someone helped me set up my stream just say like People can watch you play your game, and then of course, I was super awkward. Eventually, people kind of accepted it, I guess. And then, brands brands actually considered working with um, creators who do gaming streams as well because they can see we connect to fellow gamers, and that's pretty good because it provides a career to gamers. So, I'm super happy about that. What was that first setup that you had like? Because a bunch of people asked about uh, streaming setups. My first setup was actually in the same room, <laughs> but it's just over there. And my background was a curtain. It's just a curtain. It's my mom's curtain. <laughs> um, uh, my first webcam was just a small webcam. I actually still have those stuff here around. I still use them in my other setups when I want to have like a portable stream. But right now I'm using one, two, three, four, like four lights. And here in my background, I can show you guys. Um, I normally have a green screen, so I just pull it up. <laughs> it's over here. There you go. So I, I usually have a green screen so I can delete my background when I play mobile games or PlayStation games. And uh, I'm using a double PC setup because when I play Warzone, the game is super heavy. So I need like a stream device and my game device to be captured on the stream device. And my favorite app would be OBS because it's the lightest and the simplest one. It's free. So just type OBS. Yeah. 
That's pretty pretty good. Pretty baller. Two PCs. <laughs> 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 what about the the newer people like you know mm -hmm. what could they possibly use for newer people um i'm not sure which game they would like to try but normally people keep on asking me how to stream mobile games which is a lot easier because it's lighter so you, of course you need your cell phone <laughs> and then you need a capture card it's either the elgato Capture card or Razer Rip some. It's up to you. It's just a preference. And then you can actually stream on your laptop. Make sure it's Windows so that there's less issues. Um, yeah, a laptop can uh, carry the load of a mobile stream. Yeah. Mm, the Elodia? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So when you first started streaming and you didn't have, you know, the crazy amount of viewers that you've earned now what did you do did you just kind of play or did you talk how did it go mm, i tried a lot of different things i keep on experimenting up to up until this day because you know the landscape always changes so you always have to find something new so that the viewers don't get bored so there was a time i did a lot of unboxings before gaming streams because a lot of um companies also send me stuff so i like unboxing showing them to people what like i get surprised what's inside it's usually from yeah call of duty activision playstation ubisoft uh, bandai namco like i work with a lot of different gaming companies as well so random boxes just arrive <laughs> so now i also do Mukbangs, mukbangs. You just eat because <laughs> I'm always hungry. I'm always hungry. So in the middle of the stream, I just eat, or in the start of the stream, I have something so that I can last for maybe seven hours, six hours on stream. Obviously, you've done well, and you know you've you've partnered with companies and things like that. But on the come up, did you have issues with you know being a a girl gamer, you know, with with a male dominated, I guess business or or player base yeah definitely over the years i mean you really can't get rid of those who think that girls are not supposed to be in gaming it's a guy thing and they say it's like you don't have any skills and whatnot but we're here to prove them wrong that it's not gender specific it's what you only should consider is the passion your passion in gaming so we're all the same and hopefully we can just play along together, have fun and see in the war zone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> hopefully uh, they, they won't see you. I mean, <laughs> so how did you go from the, the streamer to the partner to basically being a media mogul? Where do I start? Um, so I've been a creator like ever since growing up. And then back in 2017, we started a company called Tier One. So now we handle a lot of creators and we help them um, grow their careers as well. So we also handle those who want to work with Facebook, those who want to work with brands, we represent them. So we kind of cultivate these creators so that they can be brand ready so it's not just about me it's like being a big sister to the younger crowd i guess oh that's great because a lot of people when they get to well not many people are on your level obviously obviously but a lot of people when they get to a higher level they tend to forget the people who are on the come up um so it's really nice to see you know you reaching out and, and helping people and I know that's pretty important because I've been doing this for like 11 years now between YouTube and, and, and this stuff. And even still, like, you know, having recently started Twitch and everything else, it's really hard. Um, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I did like 60 hours and, and 25 days straight and I got like 11 followers, which is fine. As, if somebody's watching, I'm happy. But how do you keep that motivation and the happiness and, and that balance in your life when you're trying to get big? When I started, I never really thought of getting big. I mean, it wasn't really a goal of mine. I mean, I just enjoy what I do. And I'm just really grateful for people who appreciate my work, who share my work. So um, I just 
want to uh, spread that love to other creators who actually deserve the spotlight as well. So really being in the back back end is okay with me. I mean, I like seeing people grow. What are some some good tips for people who are trying to grow their channel? Maybe they have a job and they're and they're streaming like at night or you know, if if they're a night worker during the day, what what are some stuff that you would recommend? I think it would be best to have a routine because I've been playing with a lot of different people from different countries as well who join my parties who say they came from work, they're super tired, but they they look forward to playing at night because my, my streams are usually at night. I play with people who who have families, who have responsibilities. So they a lot like a certain number of hours in gaming so they have a cut of let's say 12 midnight or 1 a.m so that they have enough rest for the next day so it's just really a matter of balance yeah because it mm. i mean if it's if Ooh. yeah go ahead no go ahead go ahead no 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 yeah but it's just like what i said it's a matter of balance in everything in gaming work career and life you have to have a routine so that it's easier to manage. Do you have any tips for like de-stressing or how you take breaks? Not just like, you know, incremental breaks when you're streaming or something, but like AFK, but big, maybe a staycation or whatever. Usually, this is just for myself. I set Sundays as my reset. Sunday family day, I have lunch with my family and then spend time offline so that I have the whole week again to work. So I guess that's a good routine, weekly routine. Yeah. So in, you know, this day and age with streaming, you have YouTube, you have Twitch, you have Facebook, you have others that are like on the come up or coming out. Uh, what made you decide to go with Facebook? Um, I honestly consider my uh, Facebook my home base. I mean, that's where I grew a lot over the past years. I mean, I've done Instagram, I've done YouTube, I've actually done Twitch as well. And then Facebook is my biggest platform and there's a lot of Filipinos in Facebook. So the interaction is very, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's super fun to see like all the reactions, how people share your stream. It's convenient and you can actually see the real names as well. So it's a cool community. That's really cool because I noticed that like Here's my question that I have for a lot of uh, females on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch and stuff. You can easily go a different route and do, you know, maybe a little bit more risque dress and, and techniques. Like if you give 20 subs by the end of the stream and I'll do a belly dance and that kind of stuff. Where one reason I respect you and Sachi and, and Ash and stuff is the fact that you guys just use good content you're you do your thing you're yourselves you're modest which is important for the area that we are in right now because if someone was to walk in on a large majority of of streamers on female streamers on facebook or twitch or, or youtube or whatever their parents might be like what are you watching you know what i mean where if they walked in on you playing that wouldn't happen so what made you say you know what i just want to be me and be modest and that kind of thing well, for me, it's really just a personal choice. It's nothing I really decided on. I just want to be what I am in real life and what I am on stream. Nothing really different. So sometimes I even cosplay in stream. So that's fine because that's what I do off stream as well. But there's no hate. I mean, other other females, if that's, that's what they do, it's fine because I actually also support like uh, women impairment. I really like when they look nice as well. So it's up to them. They're different genres. So that's pretty okay. That's okay with me. Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, if they have their hustle and it's working, do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if yeah. I could be, it's impossible for me to be sexy on my stream, right? But if I could, <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely would. <laughs> yeah, flaunt it if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't got it. But I don't got it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 so how do you stay humble? Because obviously you're self-deprecating and that kind of stuff. So how do you be you still? No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just really grateful to be where I am. So I'm just trying to use my platform to help as much people as I can. I mean, the way I help people is actually because I've had this mentality. If you 
give a fish, you help a man one day. But if you teach them how to fish, you help them for a lifetime or something. So I'd rather teach them how to do what they do so they can do it forever as well. And maybe if they're in the position to help other people, they should help other people as well. So yeah, it's like spread. It's like ripple effect or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously you're you're online, you're playing a lot of games and stuff like that. Now, in my experience, when I've been online playing games and a female speaks up in the chat on the game or team chat or whatever, more often than not, a bunch of guys are going to say a lot of crazy and appropriate stuff. So how do you deal with that and how has that affected you over time? Before, um, it gets really annoying or something, makes me feel bad. But over time, I find it funny. So sometimes I just like play along. <laughs> I'm sorry, when I play a lot, like... <laughs> Do you like, ever retaliate or talk smack or anything? No, 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 it's like, I hate you. Then we just reply, we love you too. Or like, we just like tr troll them. <laughs> kill them yeah. with kindness. Yeah, kill them with kindness. And then they just get so annoyed, they don't reply anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's one of the main things that I hear a lot of female gamers uh, mm -hmm. complain about and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that leads to, you know, inclusiveness and representation and stuff like that. How do you feel mm -hmm. about, like, uh, not just female characters, but maybe Filipino uh, or Filipina characters in games, anime, movies, stuff like that? Like, uh, for inclusivity and, and representation, how do you feel about, like, not just females, but Filipinas being represented in games and movies and shows? Mm, well... There could be more, I guess. I mean, we have a lot of different uh, races and different shows that, like for example, Disney. They've they've actually tapped into Chinese culture, and then I think there's another one coming up, Cambodian. So I hope we see more Filipinos also in video games. I mean, the first time I I heard that a Filipino character was gonna be released in. Soul Calibur or Tekken, I don't know which one came first. <laughs> so I was so super happy. It's like, oh my god, it's gonna be my favorite character. It's Talim and what's the name of the other girl in Tekken? Josie Rizal or something like that. So it's like, yes, more Filipino characters, please. <laughs> Has anybody ever approached you about maybe being a character in a game like a Fortnite skin or anything? I did a few collaborations before. It was for like a game called Diner Me. It's not available anymore, but it was pretty cool. But if there were like other opportunities, I would love to. I mean, I'd love to help design characters because that's actually one of my childhood dreams is to design characters for video games. So definitely I would inject like Filipino inspired stuff. Yeah. Have you put any of that out there? Like, I see your cosplay and stuff, which is amazing, and that takes a lot of work. So obviously you're designing. Have you actually made designs and maybe just put them online or sent them to devs and publishers? Not as much as I, I can. I mean, I would love to. I just need more time. But yeah, I did a few before. Like, I was working with a team. We were doing something for Dota 2. But of course, everyone got busy as well. So it wasn't able to mature or something. But still open to doing that. I mean, why not? Are there any other uh, female streamers that you follow, uh, especially like in this region or anything that you know of? Um. My sister, <laughs> my sister Ashley, <laughs> she has a different style of streaming. She's she's on a different platform. She's on Twitch, so she has a different style. She's more serious, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like a straight up hardcore gamer, I think, because every time I've seen her stuff, she's playing something or she's talking about gaming and that. No, I know mm -hmm. she, she sings and stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, so if you guys were to play against each other, who would win in, say, Warzone? Depends. I don't know. I guess we're probably the same. I don't know. Because, yeah. <laughs> well, you haven't laughing. tried. Ha! Uh, you should. <laughs> that would be an amazing stream. You two versus you each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be, oh, she's cool. here. <laughs> 
Speaking of, let's go ahead and bring on the amazing Ashley and Sachi to talk to you a little bit, and then we'll awesome. get into what they do. Okay, cool. Hopefully they're here. I mean, I see them. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever tried singing? I did. I actually did. Yeah, but of course, like, my mom and my sisters are better, but I try. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I know when I visited the Philippines, every place was karaoke spaghetti and chicken <laughs> yes my mom has a karaoke uh, place here at home <laughs> well oh look at that oh. fancy set oh wow why, why are you green here <laughs> i have no idea why is my camera okay i uh, we can pretend that's a filter i thought you were going for some are you a zombie some now? Atmosphere. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It wasn't like this earlier. <laughs> How do you install the filter? <laughs> it's a secret. It's the glasses. Oh, yeah. Squad. We all got glasses. <laughs> it's the gamer yeah. glasses. <laughs> I've been wearing glasses since yeah. I was eight, so I can't really see. <laughs> was it because was it the result of too much gaming? Yeah. I think she was born that way. <laughs> <laughs> born that way and gaming. So yeah. like double trouble true so you said that your sister is a great singer and you're not as good as she is what do you say to that ashley uh no it's wow trying uh, to be humble uh the weather's really <laughs> nice <laughs> kidding i can sing in japanese just japanese yeah i can't so she's she's better in that department <laughs> so you said you guys have both spent time with japan or just you Elodia? Um, oh, just, just me, yeah. But sometimes oh, okay. she comes to visit, so yeah, I take them around. Yeah, yeah. I think I've only been to Japan like twice or thrice. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, what did you go there for? Um, I think the first one was for the Japan Tourism Board, and then mm. uh, the second one was well, it's all for work actually. I've never been around much for leisure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but hopefully one day after this whole fiasco ends. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Elodia, before you go, what are some mm -hmm. projects that you're working on that maybe people should know about? Whether it be gaming, streaming, philanthropy, anything like that? I'm actually thinking. I just like recently released mm, a commercial with Food Panda. <laughs> I'm super happy about that because I eat a lot on stream. Oh, that's <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> And, and what they did I, was it was a game. I was pretty angle, impressed. So I'm. Uh, you saw it? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm Aww, a, actually my real job is a filmmaker. So when I saw that, I was like, "Wow, this is this is pretty nice for a food app." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what's pretty cool is that they considered the gaming angle for their advertisement. Yeah. So I'm, I'm super happy with that. Yeah. That's cool. So where can people watch you or check you out or communicate with you or anything like that? Well, definitely Facebook, but it's probably easier for me to see comments well during the stream or on Instagram. Yeah, because a lot of people send me messages so that I can't really see. Not privately. I don't check the private messages. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. So there we go. do you have any advice um, mm -hmm. for aspiring girl gamers any advice for aspiring girl, girls, gamers? girl gamers just do it <laughs> be yourself <laughs> be you be you <laughs> be true be you no but yeah just do it um, you won't get to uh, I always say this though you have to do it step by step you don't get to level 99 without passing level 1, so... Unless you use a bot? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless you buy levels. <laughs> <about to say. laughs> Unless you have a hack. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but yeah, so trust the process. So little by little, you'll get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is Sachi in the house yet? We need some, some interaction with Sachi. I wanted to talk to you before you go, you know? I know you're a very busy lady. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here supporting Qatar Gaming mm. Expo. Yeah, we appreciate that because we were really, really excited for the actual event to happen. And, uh, you know, I was going to go and do vlogs, all that kind of stuff. 
And then, of course, Corona happened. Uh, so how has that affected you guys? Not much. Um, thankfully, because we're like, we, we, we're used to staying indoors, I guess, being gamers. Um, although it's really hard, especially for me, because my sister, she's a homebody. So she, she, she's used to that. But as for me, um, I do miss the outdoors. And um, it's just, we're just really lucky, I guess, that our family and friends are also safe. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. for yeah. me, um, it affected a little of work because we used to travel like almost oh, yeah. every week. So, I mean, our travel is for work, but it's fine because we also get to work at home, luckily, because thanks to gaming, <laughs> that's why we, we're actually happy to help other people start on it as well so that they can transition in this really tough time so yeah yeah i'm glad your family's safe too because they are very entertaining to watch <laughs> <laughs> both my mom and my dad are so funny <laughs> we've got yeah we've got we've got your parents doing exercise looking like tracer and stuff and then we've got <laughs> oh my god you're your man with the amazing <laughs> braids and the hair is just yeah so unfortunately yeah. We have to say goodbye to Elodia to a, to be able to bring in Sachi. That's the internet oh. in the Middle East. So, no but worries. thank you so I much. This was super fun and an honor for me because I'm a, a fan. Both of you guys, oh, of thank course. You. But thank you, Tim. Yeah, this is pretty neat. And you know, being able to be part of this, even though I'm not a lady. Oh, <laughs> oh they said, wait, it's working. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Hi, Sachi. Hi, Sachi. Oh, yes. Hello, Nati Ashley. I'm a big fan of you both. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's my first time. Oh, <laughs> girl, I, I saw your uh, your music. You sing so yes, well. Yes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. It's such an honor for you guys to be able to see that. I'm so happy. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, Hi, Hi, Tim. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I love you she guys. She sings so well that people don't think it's her singing sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, it looks check like it out. she's lip syncing. Yeah. No way. All right. Oh I'm going to stalk you now. <laughs> <laughs> what is Thank it that you made you guys? Oh, okay. Sorry. There's that delay. What is it that made Ashley, you, and you, Sachi, go, mm -hmm. I want to be a gamer, but I also want to sing? Miss okay. Please go first. Well, um, actually, okay, so um, my family is a family of musicians, <laughs> actually, and especially if for my mom, my mom's side, um, they're all singers in the family. So I think it's something that we, my sister and I both grew up in, um, like we, we were um, just um, exposed to music from a really early age, and I guess it's just always... Uh, a part of our lives so um but gaming has also always been a part of our lives so it's something that i can't really segregate separate so yeah that's it mm -hmm. sashi before you you answer we mm -hmm. all unfortunately have to say goodbye to elodia oh okay, oh, okay. <laughs> i do you guys want to like take a picture we can like please Oh my god, why is my camera <laughs> You, you want to like, wanna turn, my phone. just remove the, like turn it on and off. Do you okay, hold that? on. Yeah, I You're think all I'm it out. <laughs> well, let's, let's just pretend like okay. it's done on purpose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. Three, two, one. Wait, I want to do peace. Everyone's doing peace. Okay, three, two, one. Tim, do you want to join us, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, Tim, join us. Okay. One, two. Yeah, that's cute. One, Say two, kawaii. Three. <laughs> kawaii. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Awesome. This is cute. Uh, Super cute. Awesome. Yeah. It was okay. nice meeting you here at <laughs> Nice to meet you, Sachi. And thank you so much, Tim. You're welcome. Goodbye. Thanks. I hope to, I hope to battle you someday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just just post your Warzone ID like in the, the email or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, now uh, we're gonna go 
obviously, we're going to talk about the music and stuff again. So, Sachi, go ahead. Obviously, you're, you're known for your gaming and that kind of stuff, no. but your singing is pretty out of this world. So, tell people about you why you did that and, and what got you into it. I pretty much um, can relate to at the Ashley, uh, her being with uh, a family of musicians, because I also belong to a family of musicians. My dad is a musical director and, you know, he, he plays the keys really well. My mom's a singer as well as my brother. They have a band of their own. Um, they do a lot of shows um, in and out of the country. I, but for gaming, I started uh, gaming at a very young age. I've always mentioned this to uh, a lot of people who asked about it. It was her dad's influence that brought me and my siblings to the gaming world. Um, that's when I really fell in love with gaming. Um, our parents spoiled us with every gaming console, like family computer, Dreamcast, <laughs> PS1, Game Boy, you know, name it. And they really just let us experience like how to be um, kids and enjoy um, playing games, er enjoy every single moment of it. And to be honest, yeah, I was really more focused on singing before because I started performing at six years old for a musical play with the actual Princess of Renee at that time. And it just went on for years doing shows, concerts, and a lot more. Uh, but before I even got here uh, to this profession, I worked in a corporate setting for five years. But I've I've already been streaming, um, and I just mostly play with my siblings, particularly my younger sister, which I really see to, and the, for from Ashley, Ashley because they're like kind of like the same personality. They have the same personality, and yeah, this wasn't planned really. Though I know to myself and in my heart that I really belong to the entertainment industry. So I just happened to stumble upon uh, a job posting for one of Gaming Center. I got really excited and I really just felt this urge to really give it a shot and pursue what I really love doing. Sent my CV right away, did the interview, got hired, and eventually flew my way to Qatar. So that's just. How it all started i and i kept my singing career as well it's like hitting two birds with one stone so yeah okay i didn't realize you came from the outside i thought you you kind of uh, came up uh, shout out to one up gaming by the way but i yeah. thought you came on like from within that's really cool yeah <laughs> so you were so talented that they said oh come on over <laughs> I really love them so much. They're very supportive of, you know, everything that I do. And by this, I really want to raise the visibility of female gamers, not only in, here, in, here in Qatar, but, you know, uh, globally and, you know, support each other's professional growth to pursue um, our passion, not just for gaming, but for anything that you want to do. So, Is there any particular uh, games and stuff that you guys like to stream? I mean, I know you like to sing, but when you're not singing, what are you playing? At the Ashley. <laughs> Oh, um, well, I'm kind of like a variety streamer as well. Although my my number one, I guess, would be FPS games. Like I'm really, I, I don't know, but it's I'm just really a competitive person by nature. So like I really <laughs> like spend time to practice and um, like own my aim. I guess every single day, like I really, really um, make it a point to improve on my FPS skills, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty interesting because, what is it, 51% of gamers now are female. And then, the, statistically, the preferred genre is RPG, oh. puzzle, that kind of thing. Now, I know oh. there are first-person players, and, you know, that's pretty great. Uh, something else that's really cool a lot of people don't realize is that women actually make better pilots and better firearms uh, shooters because <laughs> of their physical because of their physiology that's true <laughs> oh, oh i never yeah. knew that <laughs> yeah, like, that's pretty, pretty neat <laughs> yeah that's nice to know <laughs> so with you guys how did you go from you know a noob like myself to being you know these these big time streamers i've always been a gamer since um I was three years old. I remember my very first memory about video games was when around three or four years old. Um, I remember my cousin, who was a teenager already at the time, he was playing Super Mario Brothers on the family computer. And he would memorize every single like invisible block ever. <laughs> so I was like, wow. When I grow up, I want to be like him. Like He knows all the secrets in these video games. and. 
I guess um, he was one of my very first gamer idols, I guess. And then um, uh, I could relate definitely to Sachi as well when she said that um, her family spoiled her and her siblings with yeah. um, <laughs> consoles. Yeah, so we also had everything. So I'm just really lucky, I guess, to mm-hmm. have a dad who um, provided us with all of these consoles growing up as well. So um that was definitely uh, a really huge factor in us, mm-hmm. my sister and I, becoming gamers until we grew up. And um, I remember I was really addicted to Call of Duty when it was on still on the PS3. And I would um, share some clips on my Facebook page like of just my gameplay. And then a professional team found my videos and um, invited me to join them and i was the only girl yeah i mean that was a pretty interesting experience because that's so cool (laughs) yeah i mean we didn't really win any tournaments or anything but we did try our hand out in some tournaments um as long as you guys had fun right exactly all about that yeah and i was i mean it was a great experience to um participate in those kinds of um leagues right and then um, from then on, I think a few years after, that's when I discovered streaming. Um, because a friend of mine who works for Twitch, who worked for Twitch at the time, um, he was the one who invited me to to stream um, exclusively on Twitch. Like four, five years ago, I believe. So there, that was... And then, I mean, the rest is history. Still on Twitch <laughs> to this day. Oh, you got in early. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Speaking of Call of Duty, before you answer, Sachi, don't forget, guys, Activision has given us three copies of Call of Duty Warzone for the PS4. Oh, wow. You do have to be in this region, Middle East, North Africa, and the Levant. But all you got to do is go to Qatar Games Expo and answer a question that I'll be asking at the end of this uh, crowdcast. So don't forget, just go over there and you'll, you'll give your answer to the question and then your number and your email. And then you have a chance to win one of three copies. Uh, so back to you, Sachi. What about you? Well, um, I remember myself <laughs> hiding under a blanket w- while watching my cousin uh, play Resident Evil because I, that's just how scared I was. <laughs> I never <laughs> wanted... I don't know. It's just... Until now, I grew up uh, being very scared with horror games. I, I'm, I'm really jumpy. I get scared easily and a lot of times um even if i'm not on the you know even if i'm not the one handling the controller or playing the game and uh it's basically just um the influence of the people around me because my brother and my younger sister are also gamers so i always see them because i've always been in the in the what do you call this singing industry i haven't re- i wasn't really focused on you know gaming at that time um it went on for a, a like long years and then it was just very recent like two years ago when my brother really you know pushed me to like well, why don't you like try it out let's play let's play monster hunter i even had this on my ds but i i didn't really know much about streaming at that time yet when i discovered it um, it was basically my friends who helped me, um, you know, set up everything, and uh, I tried to research about it as well, like what are like like some tips on how to to do it and how to be successful <laughs> in a way. I don't know. So yeah, it just it's just started that way, and then, well, when I eventually got here, uh, yeah, it it eventually just became my career, <laughs> my profession, um, being hired by an actual gaming company, which is one of gaming center under one of studios. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm a social media editor for one of studios. I basically like make game reviews for them, um, stream for them. Uh, and I, I also have a co-streamer with me, which is Xiao. Hi Xiao, shout out to you. <laughs> um, who is, um, our general manager for one of gaming center. I was just pretty much overwhelmed because to my surprise, um, to be honest, I thought that the gaming scene here in Qatar is not popular. I don't know if you guys uh, agree with me on Massive. that, but uh, yeah, it's. A, uh, I never thought uh, that the gaming scene here is like the complete opposite of what I really imagined it to be. So, 
People are yeah. people aren't trying to go outside in this heat. They're gonna stay and they're gonna play the games. <laughs> yeah. Or they're gonna get together for for D one E or, or Magic or whatever. <laughs> now, when you guys f first got started, what did you do to promote your your streams and stuff? I think for me, when I was starting, I would just um, regularly post. Um, about my Twitch streams on my Facebook page because um, up to this day, it's still my biggest platform. Um, but right now, for me, um, I still struggle with getting people to to transfer from Facebook to Twitch because Twitch mm -hmm. isn't really a popular platform here in the Philippines. But um, it's something that I'm still very much working on and I really want to also be able to help the whole Twitch community in the Philippines grow um, but what I do to um, help do that I guess is to compile my twitch highlights and then constantly post them regularly on my um, other social media platforms like create content outside of twitch to bring people into twitch something like that how about you Saji? Um, as for me um, I started actually gaining followers from my youtube channel <laughs> because of my singing videos it just started from there and just uh, tried promoting my gaming as well but i mostly stream on facebook i hardly get viewers on twitch <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's just so, Girl, difficult. so hard i know i don't know why i i don't know but yeah but on facebook maybe because facebook is like a bigger platform for like you know more people and it's much easy it has a much more easier access for everyone so i think that's basically like one of the reasons so yeah i just mostly um promote my my uh the things that i do on youtube and on facebook i think it's the same and Instagram. YouTube too <laughs> it's, it's just easier yeah. to reach a bigger audience like like i said earlier i did tons of streaming exactly. and got like 11 followers but meanwhile right. on youtube my stuff just kept getting more support subscribers or anything so i'm thinking of actually making that switch over so mm -hmm. i know in the philippines facebook is, is bigger but why do you think twitch isn't popping off as much i don't really know um i guess it's because okay one factor could be that um local um telecommunications companies here um they offer free facebook like free yeah so i yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. that's one of the biggest reasons why people just stay on facebook and never leave you know yeah. yeah so um the only time you would go to twitch is when you're like a really hardcore gamer and want to watch mm. streams all about gaming and that's it but on facebook it's everything everything's there so i think um that's one of the reasons why i agree on that one as well so no matter what streaming platform you guys use, or anybody out there, any streamers, girl gamers, whatever, do you guys recommend that they turn their highlights into like YouTube videos and stuff? Well, it's it's actually okay. I mean, it's still a content, right? Yeah. You can actually make like you know like compile the videos and make it into like one good thirty or ten minute video and just upload it. I do that too sometimes. Yes, um, for me, it's like really one of the biggest, um, I mean, the most effective ways to get people from other social media platforms onto Twitch. But um, of course, you're also going to have to supplement that with content um, uh, totally unrelated to your streams, such as music or like whatever mm. other hobbies that you like, or if you're a really funny um entertaining person then you could also um, put out funny videos and stuff but definitely highlights is also for me um a really important plays an important role yeah for streamers now this is going to be a different answer for each of you because of your location now Sachi, you are streaming from qatar and ash you're mm -hmm. streaming from the philippines so how do you guys find it getting viewers from outside of your areas and how do you like streaming from where you're at <laughs> sorry i just really like that, that it's so hard to stream here in the philippines mainly because the internet sucks here <laughs> Oh I my god. It sucks here pretty good too. <laughs> oh okay. Oh I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> so um it's it's a it's a 
it's definitely a challenge um, okay. to be a full time streamer, especially when you have a quota, like um, you know, like you have to finish a certain amount of hours per month um, mm-hmm. if you have a contract with Facebook or something like that. Um, that's uh, a really tough one, especially if you have you don't have a stable internet connection, which is well, most of the time here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, a bad thing happened to me as well uh, when one time I was streaming and I have to complete uh, three straight hours of stream and then my internet just suddenly, you know, Ouch. got shut off and like went out for an hour or two and I just have to start all over again because it's it's not going to be counted anymore. You know, I don't that, know. That, that, that game that's on like a so timer. Much. <laughs> I mean, because uh, like what Ade Ashley said, um, you know, if you're partnered with um, like a, a gaming, how do you call that? I don't know how to call them. Um, <laughs> like a, peripherals, like I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be like that. Um, you know, you have they, they they require you to do something to promote their uh, their either their game or a product from yeah. them. So yeah, you have to stick to you know what they give you like if you have to stream for two hours or three hours straight i think we lost him oh Hi, my tim. gosh <laughs> he froze oh there he is. oh there <laughs> so yeah that's basically it <laughs> like i said internet sucks here too <laughs> <laughs> case <Yeah. in> point <laughs> so uh now on facebook youtube twitch and stuff like that it's mostly you know younger folks and then there's that in the middle thing like me uh but one of my favorite streamers i can't remember his name right now but he's like a 60 year old guy and all he does is like put on oldies music and dance to like with funny <laughs> backgrounds he's, he's so awesome like and he's all positive so do you guys think that older people can make it doing this Oh, definitely. Of course. Yes. Everyone al- is welcome. Yeah, I also saw actually a granny gamer on Facebook. And she actually really <laughs> knows how to play FPS games. I'm like, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's for all ages, definitely. Of course. I even saw this one gran- grandmama who plays Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. so cute. She's on YouTube. It's so cute. Oh, my God. And she really mm. knows what she's doing. So... Uh, you know, everyone is welcome, regardless of the age. Yes. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the internet. Lag- it's lagging. Yeah, <laughs> so, for you guys, what obstacles have you had because... Uh, oh, it's, it sucks. So, uh, what have you guys had when it comes to adverse conditions or whatever because you're... Sorry? Can you repeat that? Thanks, Redo. Now, with with you guys, what are some obstacles that you've had because you are female gamers? Um, well, the most common girl gamer stereotypes I've heard are like we are the worst gamers in the world, and that girls can't actually play. Um, I disagree. Uh, one of maybe because one of the reasons of for this discrepancy could probably be because of you know traditionally video games were designed by males for males. That's why female gamers are less well known. But I think in time that will change as more of us start, you know, playing. I believe that we can be as strong as males too. So Yeah. And that stereotype for me actually, I mean, I take it as a challenge. You know, I really like it when um people underestimate me and then yeah. I would just like prove them wrong and like be <gasps> the top fragger or something like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> so yeah, I mean, face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I I guess it's something that we females have already gotten used to, like being discriminated mm-hmm. that way. But yeah, we can turn it into a positive and take it as a challenge. Exactly. Yeah, there's been I a lot of times. Ashley streams oh. and she's really good. I don't know ah! why people would say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please, I want to learn from you, Senpai. Please play with me and teach me. (laughs) Oh, yes, definitely. We should play. But there's no lag. (laughs) Please. (laughs) So you'll never play. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Maybe in like 30 years when we're both grannies. (laughs) Yeah. 
so, there's been a lot of times where I've been playing a game, whether it was FPS or uh, the little bit of MMORPGs that I've been on, where I've had to actually, like, because I'm usually, like, one of the older people, step in and say something when people are, are being, like, <laughs> verbally abusive or saying inappropriate things to, to female yeah. gamers. Not that women need, like, defending from a guy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, I maybe because of the age factor or whatever, it's, sometimes it's needed you know what I mean? And a lot of times, too, I'll just tell them, why don't you be quiet and, and yeah. let your game and do the talking or, or, or whatever. What's, like, the, the most awkward or, or weirdest thing that's happened to you guys because of it? Um, I've definitely gotten into a lot of verbal fights. <laughs> I mean, I, I won't deny it. <laughs> I mean, I do fight back sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... Uh, it's something that's just really hard to avoid, I guess. Yeah. And sometimes, yeah, it gets toxic a lot. Because people have a lot of opinions, you know. They say whatever they want to say. There are just people like that. But, you know, we have to accept that uh, reality, especially on social media, you know. They're, they're just everywhere. And like what Ad Ashley said, we just have to take the, those ad as a challenge, you know, for us to, to um, you know, become even better. No. Yeah. Do you think gender matters in this day and age anymore? No. No, not really. No. <laughs> no, it's just a stereotype now. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I mean, a lot of female gamers are really rising to the top. Um, yeah. So I just um, came from a the Valorant Southeast Asian Invitational, and w my team got beaten by a team of five pro players. And their top fragger was their only female pl player. So, Ooh. like, everyone was like, oh, I don't care that we lost because I'm just, like, proud of her, you know? Go for girl. showing you everybody, so like, you go, girl. You guys are so good at multitasking and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> it's like, have you ever noticed, like, uh, when a, a woman gets sick, she does a million things still. Right, and then the guy like really, and then when the guy gets sick, he's like on his deathbed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <laughs> totally agree on that one. <laughs> True. Yeah. Oh, I have cup. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of people are asking you guys to sing. Maybe there's a song that you can duet or something. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. At the well, Ashley. <laughs> I love your band. Oh, thank I hear you. It. Yeah, I've seen your music. I've heard Aww, it as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I also saw your um, Demon Slayer cover. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was so good. Because I just started watching thank it you, as Ashley. well. Hmm. So good. It's a really good anime. It's so it's nice. So good, you guys yeah. have to check it out. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could is... definitely collab sometime. Yeah. yeah we I've could. been seeing the chat like uh Yeah, I listened to both of you guys sing and stuff like that. I, I was pretty impressed. Yoko Kano level. You know what I mean? Like really, really good. <laughs> Aw, thank, <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so I think I might be dating myself with the, the name of the singer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like older anime, like Ghost in the Shell and stuff. <laughs> oh. What are some, some things that maybe people should think about when they're trying to balance out what they're doing with the gaming and the streaming and, and with it? Maybe they have families, maybe they don't, because maybe there's some moms or wives that want to do it. Well, I guess it all boils down to time management. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if you're not, I guess for me, if you're not earning from gaming yet, um, I guess just um, prioritize the things that you have to prioritize first. And mm -hmm. then if you have extra time for gaming, then by all means, go ahead. Um, I think uh, if you really want to get into professional gaming, um, you have to understand that it's definitely not for everyone mm -hmm. unless you put in all the time, the effort, and the hard work into it. Um, it's going to take a lot of time. So if you want to be a streamer or a pro gamer, um, 
unless you can see um enough income coming from it don't leave your day jobs first or don't put in too much time too mm-hmm. much hours into it first like just um set your priorities straight first yeah. i guess so and you... consistency too <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. yeah connection to you know yeah i definitely i have to co-sign what ash said about not do not quit your job until you are no. deep set <laughs> with yes. whatever is happening like if I didn't have, uh, like, I work for Hamid El Mari, the the Qatari guy. He's a stand-up comedian in Qatar, and, and I work with another company, Store Nine Seven Four. Shout out to them. And if not for them, there's no way I could do this uh, mm. yet. Like, my following isn't big enough yet. You know what I mean? But because they believe in what I'm doing and stuff, I'm able to to, to do that, and I'm building up my my following and my content and everything. Mm. So, you know, another thing too is. That old saying, if it's what you love, it doesn't feel like work. What do you think about that? Mm, it's not true 100% of the time. <laughs> you know? I mean... Because <laughs> we're really... only humans. We also get tired. Even exactly. if we love things that we do, we're only humans. Yeah. Especially so. when it um, becomes repetitive. I mm. mean, even if it's something like, hello, it's gaming. Like It's supposed to be fun, but it's not always fun. Like it's The things that you don't you guys don't see like the work that's put into creating a video or like the work mm-hmm. that's put into owning your skills in game that's what people don't see and it takes a lot of hard work as well so it's not all you know butterflies and rainbows exactly. but it's definitely a fulfilling experience still you know and we need to rest. gamers also need to rest <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> But you're just sitting there playing. You're not doing anything. Oh. <laughs> that's what that's what we want to show you guys that we're having fun, you know. But uh, it, it, it's not true. It's not true. There's a lot of hard work put into everything that gamers yeah, but, and content creators mm. do. Yeah. What do you think the hardest part is? For me, the hardest part would be the uncertainty. Of like it's not something like for example if you you have like a normal nine to five job you can definitely I mean ninety per ninety nine percent of the time you can stay in that certain line of work for the rest of your life but in gaming it you have or in content creation you have to constantly be innovating to stay in the game. ABC. Um, yeah so that that's the scariest part for me like you have to always come up with something new and mm. always um conform i guess not really like conform but you know be updated with the current um trends and stuff i guess i can completely yeah. relate to uh to what at at the ashley said um in terms of creating content because um, as a social social media editor, I also have to be creative enough to, you know, um, uh, think of new contents. Like for example, I always have to be um, ready with uh, news for the week about technology. So I have to do to do research. You also, you know, you you do get burned out uh, as well because of you know all the things that you need to search and uh, compile and then you know create everything from scratch and put it into a content and do it week on a weekly basis or even every day so yeah because that's for me i do uh for example gaming contents i create game reviews on a weekly basis once a week for uh technology news it's once a week as well so you always have to be ready and have to have something you know like what is baon in english baon in what like, sense uh like ideas oh okay ideas. to take with you something like yeah, that. yeah 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 okay so uh there seems like people definitely want you to collaborate on something in the future and there's a bunch of song suggestions and everything <gasps> if you guys could do one what do you think the song would be, knowing your styles? 
what 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 else like do you listen to with Satchi? Um, I I listen to everything, a variety of genres. Um, I can do soul, uh, pop, jazz, whatever, whatever. Damn, it is. girl! <laughs> I can I can like play the guitar for you, and then you can sing. <laughs> Oh, I'll you can listening. do that. Oh, that would be nice. But I want to sing a song with you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be your backup vocals. Because I don't know, it's just that you know, music. Every single genre for me is beautiful. Maybe because I grew up with a, a family who creates music. My dad's a musical director. I hear him all the time. He creates music from the '60s up to the present. You know, music. So. That's yeah. So cool. <laughs> Same here. My dad also come up with like a. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. <laughs> I said you can come up with like a two-person little acoustic thing, like a girls' avenue or something. <laughs> a girls', girls avenue. avenue. Boys' avenue. Girls', girls avenue. avenue and gaming. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. I'm yeah. so excited for that. I think that would be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, we know you love music. Do you have any favorite female game characters? <laughs> Final I, Fantasy like how, I, I like how our, <laughs> both our faces were like, <gasps> <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, uh, Lightning, FF13, uh, Garnet, FF9, Kyrie, Kingdom Hearts, Aqua, Kingdom Hearts, uh, too many to mention, man. Yeah, me too. I really, I really love uh, Renoa from Final Fantasy VIII. So, <laughs> oh. yeah. I even dress no up love like Abby. <laughs> before. Sorry. No love for Abby. No love for Abby Anderson from The Last of Us Two. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> uh. I don't play that. Is that a scary game? I think that's a scary game. So. You know what? I actually have not finished uh, the second game, but I'm far enough to know who she is, and she... it changes. It's better. Oh, There's okay, the comment okay, saying okay. no to uh, Abby. <laughs> I, I hate Abby her. Is amazing. I don't know what Thank she looks much. like. <laughs> she's, she's, she's pretty. Wait. She's pretty buff. Yeah, she's. Yeah, she fights well. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. She's strong, she's real a, power. I think she's an. Both characters are amazing, and I like how it all comes together. That game, it's two very well written, very strong female characters, but all the commentary and all the hate that I've been seeing is from men. All right? So, why am I not seeing more videos, articles, and, and stuff about that? Especially. Not just that game in particular, but other games as well, especially ones that don't skew super feminist, like that just have a point of view from a lady. I'm actually seeing a lot more games coming out with female protagonists. And of course, for us female gamers, that's like a dream come true, you know? Mm. But I don't know. Like, I, but yeah, that's true. I think um, there are, I mean, mixed... Um, what do you call this? Uh, reactions, I guess, to that new trend that's um, uh, coming for gaming. Mm -hmm. um, but it's probably oh, because me, the stereotype still. Mm -hmm. A majority me, of the I, creators are mostly men. Mm. I don't know. Could also uh, play a big part. There's no like definite, you know, yeah, reason. I don't know. For me, I don't. I think it's maybe opportunity is, is part of it. Oh. Uh, I think there's a delay. There must be because Ashley. Yeah. Uh, she's hearing yeah. me. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're like trying to catch uh, up on each other's, you know, ends. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. So a few people are asking about you guys, your setups, especially given the fact that you're singing mm -hmm. and stuff. So what do you have? Well, for my singing, I don't know if you would believe me, but before I started recording my songs just by using my phone and my headphones. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and uh, it's just all about like mixing and stuff, mixing and mastering the song. Uh, but now I am using this 
obviously it's a Rode microphone, the mini, Yay! the new mini one. Yeah, and uh, this is for my gaming. I'm using this Razer one for my gaming as my gaming headphones. But for recording, this is what I use now: the Sony W X H. I forgot the code, but yeah, it's this one. This is a good noise cancellation. Has a no good no noise cancellation uh, when you record your songs. Um, for my application, I the software that I use it, I use GarageBand or um, Adobe Audition. Mm. Then for my gaming setup, um, uh, my I'm using a what do you call this? 2080, 2080 Super, sixty a uh, thirty two gigs Ooh, of RAM. Fancy. Yeah, it's from my company, so thank you, One of Gaming Center, <laughs> for providing me with a very strong um, PC. And it's because uh, you know I, I do I do game reviews, so I really have to have a strong computer to you know muscle the 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 games. So nice. <laughs> yeah, it's literally double mine. I'm I'm 1080 16. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, it depends. There's. A, there's a couple of wrap-up questions that people want to know about. Uh, what's some of the best advice you can give to girls uh, that want to get into <laughs> gaming and streaming and stuff like that? To girls specifically, I guess, is to just um, uh, own your skills, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, um, don't listen to... I mean, it's a given that there's a stereotype for us girls to always be inferior to men mm -hmm. especially in the world of gaming mm -hmm. um i guess just don't let it get to you because it's always been there for years and it's still gonna be there for years to come it's what it's how you take it it's how what you do about that that stereotype i guess so it's all just a matter of slowly but surely women are definitely proving themselves ourselves to mm -hmm. be at par you know i mean uh, Males are physically, definitely physically stronger, but in the world of gaming, it's all just the same. Yeah, you know. Mm. So we're all we're just using our hands and sitting down. So we don't need to be faster than them. We don't. I mean, it's just a matter of practicing, spending mm -hmm. time to hone your skills, and I guess that's it. Just don't let it get to you. Just do do it. Just do it, Nike. <laughs> and in connection to what Ate Ashley said, um, you know, you know, uh, girls, it's everyone else. Um, you know yourself better than anyone. So just, you know, as what everyone says all the time, just continue doing what you love and just enjoy every single moment of it. It's gaming, guys. So it's there for us to, you know, enjoy. Just keep going. And for females out there, we're going to need all the women we can get in the next couple of years. And the industry will be better for it so just positivity for us girls yeah <laughs> like i was saying earlier like whatever approach you know a, a girl gamer or a female streamer wants to take if it works for them it works for them but you guys and, and elodia it's all about content and just doing you and you're not doing anything like too crazy to get attention and stuff like that why why did you go that route it is more difficult that is true. I mean, definitely going the other route is definitely a shortcut. But, like, there's no challenge in that, right? I mean... Mm -hmm. uh, and um, for me, I mean, I'm a huge advocate of, um, uh, you know... I, I, I want to be able to show skill, I guess. So mm -hmm. that's one of... The, I mean, that's the most the, the biggest priority for me like in terms of my gaming content is mm -hmm. i want to be able to show everyone that females can also do what males are good at yeah, uh, i definitely agree with that i was a firefighter in the air force i was the military one of the most physical dangerous jobs on the planet right yeah wow. and every single fire station i was at there was one or two sometimes three female firefighters some of them looked like a normal size frame like you guys, but, you know, they, they worked out and they were strong enough for the job. And some of them looked like Abby Anderson from The Last of Us too, just jacked, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And uh, women, that is one of the most physically daunting jobs on the planet. You know what I mean? Like, if you can't physically hack it in that job, people die. 
And I never saw a female firefighter that I worked with fail at it. A lot of times they were a little bit quicker on their feet when it came to like a problem solving thing or, or, or whatever. I mean, that's not always going to be the case, but that's why when people say, oh, girls can't do this, or girls can't do that. Like, dude, I was in the military with, with ladies. I know mm-hmm. what they can do. You know, what do you think? Is there, I mean, we're is all... there a delay? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. Yeah, we do there, hear you. there is. There is. <laughs> um, I mean, for yeah, yeah go, for, go ahead. Sig it. For me, I guess um, there will always be. I mean, it's scientifically proven that m- males are physically stronger, but w- there are ways that we could um, become stronger. You know, like. For example, become like Abby and get jacked, you know? We, we could definitely... There are ways to, you know? Yeah. Um, it's definitely harder, more of a challenge for females. But there are ways if you know where to find them. And if you set your mind into it, then you can you can really do it. If you set your heart, in, you know, set your mind into it. Techn- technique is always going to uh, better just brute strength, stuff like that. Always. True. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you guys tell everybody where they can see you, where they can communicate with you? Okay, you go first. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know you? <laughs> well, you can mostly see my streams on Facebook, um, and I also post a lot of uh, promotions in there, just in case that you know, if if I upload new videos, it's just I think I'm everywhere on my Facebook account, um, my YouTube. Uh, it's Sachi Gomez. Please do search for it. Um, I'll be uploading a new cover this week. It's Ren Eye Circulation. I'm so excited. Nice. Um, hope you guys could check it out. It's a Japanese song, but I, I can also sing uh, different um, genres. So not only Japanese, I can do Korean, Tagalog, uh, English, and yeah, Sachi Gomez on YouTube. On Facebook, it's also Sachi Gomez. Instagram is Sachi Me, S A C H I I M I I. I think, please. <laughs> I just spoke in Japanese. Oh my god. <laughs> so she can speak everything. <laughs> I'm just too screwed. <laughs> Sorry about Sorry, that. Sorry, oh, oh. <laughs> It's always about food, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anywho. <laughs> Well, as for what about you, me, Ash? you can follow me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Ash Goshengpiao. And everywhere else on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch is Ash Lily, A-S-H-L-I-L-I. And on YouTube, just probably search for my name because my URL is so embarrassing. I mean, <laughs> I, I, created, I created that account when I was in high school or something. So there's a number in it and it's embarrassing. So just search for my name, <laughs> Ashley Goshengpiao <laughs> on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> if anybody cares, mine is Geekam Riki. Just that's it. Everything, every single platform is Geekam Riki. Even TikTok, which sucks, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> oh <my> uh, God. <laughs> one quick thing: Can I get you guys to give a quick shout out to QGX? Yo, QGX! Thank you so much. Thank you so so much for having us. We love thank you. you. Thank you. Hope to see you when all this is over. Yeah. Now, guys, remember, we are doing the Call of Duty giveaway, all right? So I'm going to ask the question, but once I do, you have to go over to uh, Qatar Games Expo, uh, to their Instagram, direct message them the answer, your phone number, and your email, all right? So I need a, I need a drum roll for what the question is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what year did Activision release the first Call of Duty? Now, remember, answer via direct message on Qatar Games Expo. So, yeah, thank you to QGX, as always, for putting this event together. Uh, it was really nice being with the girls and stuff, you know, girl talk. <laughs> but, girl. Uh, yeah, we're so Valorant together, <laughs> Yes. Snap, snap. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, thanks. They're doing a lot to help us. It's really cool. Um, and there's their social media right there in the bottom corner, Qatar uh, underscore games underscore expo. Qatar, not Qatar. Qatar. Anyway, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time. See ya. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>